I've had my Panasonic GH3 for 11 months now and during that time really enjoyed it for its blend of handleability, performance and battery life. One thing I didn't like was the shaky wobbly monitor. It was great that it would swivel so flexibly but that floppiness somehow rather spoiled it and it happened so gradually that I couldn't remember how it was when I bought the camera. Then I noticed on various forums that quite a few other people had the same problem. I got in touch with Panasonic service people but they weren't sure it would be covered under warranty anyway. It's a lot of messing about to package it up and send it off and all that rigmarole. So I thought I'd have a go myself. I'm a reasonably good do-it-yourselfer and found a very helpful post by John Bioch on a forum which implied that it wasn't too difficult to do. Now please note, I cannot stress this too much, I'm not recommending you do this. It might invalidate your warranty. I did it because, well, that's the kind of person I am and it isn't too difficult. So here goes. First of all, download the service manual from the URL on screen now. The relevant sections are 9131, removal of the rear case unit, and afterwards at 9139, though I think my pictures make this clearer than the manual does. You will need a set of watchmaker screwdrivers. I magnetise mine, which helps handle those tiny screws. Also, a sheet of paper with a sketch of the camera back and sides, so that you can replace the screws where they belong. If you have a lens fitted, take it off and replace with the body cap. Take out the battery, an SD card, and slide off the EVF rubber cup. First, you have to remove the camera back. All the screws are quality items and will not burr easily. Nevertheless, take care. Remove these three screws from the underside of the camera. This one from the battery compartment. This one from the left hand side. And these from the right. And now all the EVF screws here. The camera back is now ready to slide off. Mine was a little reluctant, but inserting my fingernails in the seam and gently wiggling it did it. A big be careful here. The electronics from the back are connected by two strips of contacts to the camera body. There is no need to undo them for what we are doing, as you can get your screwdriver onto the necessary screws without doing so, albeit at a slight angle. These are the screws to be removed. However, it seems to be the top hinge that comes loose mostly, so undo the top screw first and the little plastic hinge cover slips off, revealing this screw. Tighten that one up and try the screen for wobble. In my case, that had done the trick, and I didn't bother with the bottom hinge. I put a tiny spot of Loctite on the hinge screw in the hope that it will avoid the need to do this again. So now, just reassemble in the order you took it apart, and the job is done. I say again, I am not recommending you do this, just pointing out that with reasonable care, it is easy to do. Thanks for watching.